Good afternoon and welcome back to another video. How are we all doing? All good, I hope? Another week down. Weeks are just flying past at the moment. But we are that little bit closer to summer. A little bit closer to those warmer rides, sunny days. So even though the sun's out at the moment in the UK, it is still a little bit nippy. But you can't complain. It's not raining. So as you would have seen from my last video, we've just installed the new Dominator V3 72 volt battery to my Suron. And this thing absolutely rips. I've had it now for about two weeks, so just starting to get used to the power and the acceleration and the range as well, which we're going to do in another video. So stay tuned for that one. But yeah, the battery's just completely transformed this bike. I know I say that with every upgrade that I get, but this one's just ridiculous, as you can imagine. I mean, this is the fastest thing I've ever ridden. But a lot of the lads that I ride with as well that have had a go on this have just said how unbelievably quick this thing is now, even compared to some of their motocross bikes. Yeah, it's an absolute weapon. So what I wanted to do in today's video is try and get some 0 to 60 times. I'd have absolutely no idea what this thing would do 0 to 60. So it's kind of really for my own benefit more than anything. I was just intrigued, so I thought we could make a little video on it. And as I've got the new battery now and the decals are on my old battery, the bike's kind of looking a little bit weird. It's sort of half black and white Fox decals on one part and then the battery's got its own name on it. So it's just kind of a bit all over the place at the moment. So I think the best thing we can do is just take these decals off and let's completely revamp the look of the bike. I'm not a huge fan of the silver framework on the Suron. I much prefer the black and the purple. It's kind of one of the reasons why I put the decal kit on my bike. But I've got a few ideas in mind of what I want to do to it, a couple of wraps that I've been looking at. But yeah, if you've got any ideas, let me know in the comments. What would you like to see on the bike? So yeah, also in this video, we're going to be taking all the decals off, strip it back to bare basics, ready for the new wrap to go on. And we're also going to get out with some of the other lads, get some wheelie practice in, and yeah, just basically get out for a little group ride. Sarons are absolutely brilliant and they're great fun to ride but they're much better when you're riding in a group so yeah we're going to head out with the lads a little bit later on as well but yeah before all of that let's get into this 0-60 then let's see what this thing can do now I am on about 60% battery so it's probably not going to be the fastest 0-60 that we can achieve on it but it's going to give us a really good indication so okay so the best way that I can think of doing this is we'll just screen record. This obviously gives me a true reading of the speedo, just so we can see exactly what the 0 to 60 time is. So, as you saw from my last video, this does have a tendency to throw me off the back of it. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna try and hunker down, get as much weight over the front wheel, and let's see what we can do. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> we might have that problem again of needing to find a bigger road but I was so far down I couldn't actually see what speed we were going but uh... okay let's get speed run two and this is slightly uphill but uh, yeah we should get a good reading okay three two one go I know we definitely got over 60 that time. I'm just going to get a couple more runs in just so we can get a good sort of average. The hardest thing for me is actually getting off the line. Let's get it. Okay, so I've got no idea how fast that is at all. So in the edit, I'll put some times on there just to see what we're getting. Okay, so results in 0 to 60. So I think my best run there was just over five and a half seconds, which I'll be honest, I thought it was going to be a little bit quicker than that. It certainly feels a lot quicker when you're riding this thing. I think I am going to revisit this though. I've got a few things that I want to do to the gearing on the bike. I'm also going to have a play around with the torque settings. And I think rerunning that with 100% battery rather than 60%. Not saying it's going to give us loads off the 0 to 60, but 
I reckon it might make a difference. Yeah, still not bad, just over five and a half seconds. That's equivalent to like a Aston Martin DB7 or a BMW M3. But certainly the battery has just made a huge difference. Okay, so believe it or not, the sun is starting to set. So what I'm gonna do is probably head back. We're gonna meet up with the boys in a sec anyway. So let's head over, let's get some wheelie practice in. And then we'll get these decals off the bike. Still go, even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Hustle lot, hustle every single day. I'll be making moves till I'm buried in my grave. To the system, I don't wanna be a slave. I've been doing shit my way, uh, or the highway. And in the driveway is a nice range. Cause I grind through the climb, I invite pain. You never hear me, bitch, nah, I don't complain. Just gotta flip the switch and you can go and obtain anything you want, anything you need. Your mind's got the key ingredient, it's belief. Uh, better see with the negativity. But I just slide right by that energy. Uh, even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 Grey matter like some batter in your brain That's why to say So partly one of the reasons I wanted to take this decal kit off is down to the battery, obviously it doesn't match now but the other part is it's had its day. The multiple times we've pressure washed it it's got muddy, it's got hot, it's got cold the adhesive's come loose <laughs> Cheers guys, thank you, thanks No worries, thank you it's just a bit old and worn now. It wasn't a particularly expensive kit. And I think now there are a lot better quality kits available. So I really purged it just to cover up the bare frame of the bike, but I actually kind of fell in love with the black and white theme and sort of continued that throughout. So it is going to be a bit of a shame to let it go, but hopefully we can create something that's going to look 10 times more impressive. So anyways, enough waffle. Let's get back. Let's get this sticker kit off and let's see how the bike looks. Okay, so that's the decal kit taken off and uh, I've made a huge, huge mistake here. I said in the start of this video, there was a reason why I put that sticker kit on. It's because I just don't like the look of this silver frame whatsoever and uh, nothing's changed. I still don't like it. <laughs> yeah, check it out. See what you think. I don't know. It actually looks a little bit better on the camera than it does in real life, I think. But yeah, it's just so plain and boring. I had to leave the stickers on the forks just to give it something. Yeah, I don't know. What's your thoughts? Let me know in the comments. So if you guys could help me out, it'd be much appreciated. In the UK, who's the best company to go and get some custom graphics from? Let me know in the comments. So I'm going to finish the video there then, guys. As always, thank you ever so much for watching. If you've liked this video, please go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't done already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Cheers, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.